Hi, it's day three at Ragi Spicery and I'm Ragini and I'm going to show you something that everybody loves and everybody wants to know how to do. And this is a basic chicken tikka. You can use the same marinade of course for also a whole tandoori chicken and, and you can make butter chicken as well. So let's start. Now, you know, you can go the long way and have all your different spices. I've got some lovely roasted spice garam masala with cardamoms and cinnamon and mace and cloves and lots of other things. And then I have ginger and garlic and chili and cumin. And uh, I'm going to finish it off, of course, uh, with some either something acidic. So it could be vinegar or it could be yogurt, depending on the particular finish you want on your chicken tikka. If you just want it sort of fairly spicy, vinegar is better. If you want to mellow it down and get a creamier flavor, then use yogurt. But today, we are not going to worry about all these different things because what we have here is our beautiful tandoori spice mix. We make these in tiny quantities right here so in Adelaide so we get a beautiful, easy, authentic uh, result without any hassle at all. And this little packet's not actually that little because it does three kilos of chicken which I have here. So what I'm going to do is open up the pack. That's the hardest part. And then we are going to have a little smell. Beautiful. So I haven't had to do any of this work and I've just opened this pack. I'm going to put um, almost all of it. So we say three kilos, but sometimes we won't even need that entire amount. So it's sort of plate uh, depending on how strong you want your marinade. And while of course we're doing chicken here, you can use this for fish, prawns, paneer cheese, mushrooms, so lots of different things. Now, there is no salt or sugar in any of these, so I'm going to put in some salt. This is to your taste, so you can put in as much as you like. And then depending on whether you would like, um, as we said, the yogurt or the vinegar, I think we'll go vinegar today. So I've got white vinegar. Any vinegar at home is easy to use. About a quarter of a cup. And I'm going to just mix it up. Now, remember, you know, that in the old days, uh, chicken tikka or butter chicken is really red. And that's by adding actually uh, approved food coloring. Now, be sort of planning to give that up because that's not going to make any difference to the flavor. So I'm not going to add a red color, but if you like it nice and red, then you can go ahead and buy yourself a tandoori color. Make sure you don't buy the bright pink that's available in the supermarkets because hot pink isn't a good look for butter chicken or chicken tikka. So that's all we really need to do. And you can mix it up, leave that for about four hours, which is a good time for the marinade to penetrate right into the chicken. But of course, uh, if you don't have that time, anything from 20 minutes will do to overnight. But really, this is all we need to do to get our beautiful tandoori marinade ready. Now, I have actually um, made one earlier, roasted it off. So we've got our chicken tikka there. If you wanted to make butter chicken, just need to add some butter chicken sauce to that and cook it for a further few minutes. Um, we've got a nice uh, garnish and I'm going to pop in some fenugreek leaves because this gives a really nice taste to butter chicken. You don't need to do that for just chicken tikka, but if you're doing butter chicken, that's the way and of course, you have to watch another day to know how to make butter chicken sauce. So thanks for watching and maybe give it a try. We've got four other spice blends for Vindaloo's, Rogan Josh's, Korma's and um, lovely Southern Indian, best of the South coconut flavors. So give them a try because they work every time. Thank you.